Hello, it's the Power BI guy here and in this video today I'll be going over how to create a beginner to intermediate sales dashboard. Now as you can see I'm dynamically filtering the dashboard to show you the conditional formatting. We can see that the colors are changing based on our sales and our percentage growth etc. Now this is a beginner's dashboard so we'll go over some basic DAX measures etc but the first thing that we need to do now is connect to our data set and as you can see as I'm working with an Excel file I am connecting to that data set. Now this is a relatively clean file, there's no transformations that I need to make, however I noticed that the cells column was not correct so I'm just applying the appropriate data labels. first thing that I'm going to do is create a date table. This is great to uh, have in your data set because you can use this to create a relationship and this will help with your time series analysis. Now I'm writing some M code, I'll paste this in the description so you can just copy this to create your date column. I'm now referencing the column that I just created to create uh, the years, month, month name, month number columns. These will be used for our filtering later on. Now once I've created my date table, the next step that I'm going to take is to create my measures table. The reason that we do this is just to clean up your data so you can know where all your measures are and have them all in one place. So once I've done that, the first thing that I'm going to do is create a sum of our total cells. Now this measure is going to be used constantly with our other measures and uh, it's good that you make this earlier on so you can uh, work through it later. later. So now that I've created my total sales measure, what I'm going to do is create a card. Now this card will be our total sales card. And after that, I'm going to, go to create the last year. So this is our previous year sales. So now that I've created my previous year's measure, what I'm going to do is start creating another card which will show our previous year sales. Now currently showing the same figure is because I haven't got a year selected. So it's just doing a total sales. Next step for me is to create a filter just so I can just show you guys. Uh, so as you can see, I created a filter, selected 2017 and the figure changed. And now we're beginning to build our visualization. So I want a table with our subcategories of products. So what I'm doing in, is bringing our two measures in to show us total sales by subcategory and to, uh, our previous year sales. Now, once I've done that, I'm starting to create a difference uh, measure. Now, this will show the difference between the sales of this year and the previous year. Now, this isn't limited to just years. This will be a difference of any month that we pick uh, because the measures are working dynamically. So if we select a month, it will show us the difference between the previous month and the current. So now I'm creating a percentage growth measure. Now what this will do is show us the percentage growth based on the previous year. So for example, if I select December this year, it will show us uh, the growth from uh, December last year as a comparison between the two months. So now that I've created that, I'll bring that in and I need to change the format of that to a percentage. And as you can see, it's showing us a percentage from the subcategories. And let's make that into a card also. So now that I've got my measures out of the way, what I'm going to do is start creating some visualizations. So I won't be going over this part with a voiceover, just follow along and you can see the different uh, visualizations that I'm creating.
So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. As you can see, the dashboard is now complete. All the conditional formatting has been put in place. We've designed the dashboard or the report, however you want to refer to it. Um, designing a nice report is crucial because it helps end users consume the data better. So make sure you put some time and effort into that part of uh, your reports. So if you enjoyed that, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's slightly different. It was more of a time-lapse video, not a tutorial, but you might be able to gain some insight from the start. So it's the Power BI guy and I'm out.